Hi, my name is Kai Won. Today we're going to do a full review about this Atom Cube RX7 from Pilot Cine. This is a professional pocket light. Kind of. I already used this light for over four months and I really love this light. This is an 18-watt RGBWW 7-inch pocket light. I think this is the brightest 7-inch pocket light on the market right now. 18 watt output. So 7 inch pocket light on the market can only output around 12 to 15 watt. But this RX7 pocket light can output 18 watt. This is super bright, but it's still a pocket light. You cannot use it under the sun, but indoors or at night, it's really handy. Pilot Cine did send me this light for free, but I will still tell you all the pros and cons, what I like and what I don't like about this light. So, Let's get started. So this light in CCT mode is insane. We can go from 2500K to 8500K, pretty wide range. And we have green and magenta shift. So you can match whatever source you want. You want to be a little bit green, like a light bulb. Yeah, you can do it. And because this is a RGBWW light and they can mix different RGB colors into the white so they can get super accurate white point. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. In the CCT mode, we have a DFS function. You can turn it on or off. It's for the diffuser color correction. But actually, the diffuser after several months of use, it's kind of yellow. So I don't know who will use the DFS mode on this light fixture. So I think most people will match the light source by looking at the light. So right now, the light above me is a little bit magenta. So we can just change the green and magenta and we can easily match different light source by changing the Kelvin number in 100 increments and the green and magenta shift in 0.01 increments. That's insane. And a dimmer, about the dimmer, we can dim the light in 1% increments. And in CCT mode, the brightness just can start from 5%. So you cannot let the light be super super dim and just start from 5%. Next, we're going to talk about the HSI mode and the jail mode together because in the HSI mode, it's kind of like RGB only mode. It won't mix any tungsten or daylight together if you desaturate the color. If you desaturate the color, it will come out with some bluey purple color. It's disgusting. But in jail mode and you choose between different gels, they will mix daylight and tungsten together and get a wider spectrum, beautiful color and more output. So if you want most output and beautiful desaturated color, you will not want to use the HSI mode on this light because it's just horrible. But if you want to just choose between 360 fully saturated color, then the HSI mode yeah, you can give it a try. And in the jail mode, you can choose between daylight and tungsten to be your main source and choose between hundreds of gels in the gel library. But if you want more color, you can check out next mode, RGB daylight tungsten mode. So in RGB DT mode, you can control different colors separately. So you can mix the daylight and tungsten with RGB, whatever you want. But if you just want to use daylight or tungsten, it will not correct the green and magenta for you. So if you just want daylight or tungsten, just go to CCT mode instead. So in RGB DT mode, I like to use my smartphone to control the color because it's so much faster than using the small dial to dial in what color I want to change. Next mode, the CIE 1931. This is a color space and if you have different light fixture and you want exactly the same color, you can just use the X, Y and dial in the same number and the color will be exactly the same. So after four months of use, I never use the CIE 1931 to pick the color I want because it doesn't use the daylight and tungsten to mix that perfect white point. But maybe you want to mix this light fixture with some bigger professional light that has the same color space. Yeah, the function is here. Next, we're going to talk about the effect mode on this RX7. So we have some basic like lightning, color cycle, please light, fire, television, and custom. My favorite will be the television because they have two 
different mode of television. So the first mode, we are just using daylight and tungsten. But the second mode, we are using RGB colors to simulate the TV effect. I use this TV effect all the time. If you want a bigger TV light, you just use a diffuser, put it in front of this light and just diffuse the light and it will look perfect. The Atom Cube RX7 have a very special custom effect mode. You don't need to use your smartphone. You can totally customize everything inside of this light fixture. Yo, this is insane. But if you use your smartphone, it's a little bit easier to customize, but you can customize everything without a smartphone. That's dope. Under this RX7, we have a USB type A port that can output five watts of power. You will not want to charge your phone with this USB port because it's too slow and you cannot use this light fixture and the USB type A port at the same time. Next mode will be the DMX mode. It's insane. This little pocket light can control by DMX. You just need to buy a USB dongle and connect to a DMX controller. Then you can control this light with DMX but I don't have any DMX controller. You can check out Gaffering Gear's channel. He just talk everything you gotta know about DMX. Let's talk about the build quality of this RX-7 little pocket light. It's a tank. It's not built like a tank, it's a tank. It, you can kill somebody with this light. This is crazy. I've dropped this light several times on set and nothing happens, it just works, but because of the build quality, all metal design, this light is a little bit heavy. So you cannot use little gaff tape to stick it under the shelf to light up a little space. You need to rig this light properly. This Atom Cube RX7 comes with a Bluetooth app called Cube Sync, but it's pretty unstable. I rarely use it. I just pick some color I want and I will put it, rig it, and I will not touch it. I will not just turn it off to save some power because the connection is pretty unstable. Maybe I just turn off the light with my phone app and after maybe 10 minutes, I want to turn it back on. No, the connection just I <laughs> don't want to work. So hmm, app is there if you want to use it. Yeah, Pilot Cine claim their built-in battery can run full power 2.5 hours, that's insane, but I never get that number. Usually I run about two hours, maybe two hours and 10 minutes, it will just black out. But if you want to use this light longer, there's no any battery plate you can change your battery because it's a built-in battery. So you need to use a Type-C cable to charge this light and use it simultaneously. And if you use 18 watt power bank or charger, because this is an 18 watt power LED, RGB LED, but you cannot use an 18 watt charger or power bank to charge and run at the same time. It will not work. It will still drain the battery. So you need to prepare a huge power bank that can output power delivery 3.0, 36 watt of power or a power brick that can output 36 watt and use type C to type C cable to connect your power source to the light and then you can charge and run the light simultaneously. That's not a good way to power this light. It's kind of, I don't know, because you need to find a super duper long type C to type C cable and then you can run a light above your head or rig it somewhere. So that's not a good idea. I really hope they can make an MPF battery plate version and we can swap out the MPF battery instead of using the built-in battery and run a super duper long Type-C to Type-C cable. Changing MPF battery on set is just so much easier. This light don't have any fan to cool it down, but it will not overheat because all metal body, but after Several hours of use, it will be extremely hot. It will just burn yourself. So remember, this is a super hot light. You need to wear gloves to touch it. Let's look at the beam angle of this light. It's pretty wide. I will call it 180 degree beam angle. 
but at the edge of the beam, you can see some hard line. So if you don't want this hard line, you want a smooth transition, you just add this diffuser and you will get some smooth transition. And also if you add this diffuser, you will not get that multiple shadows effect because it will become a huge beautiful light source so after my testing the brightest cct is at 6500 kelvin in rgb mode the brightness will be two stops darker than the brightest cct the red will be five stops darker the green will be one stop darker and the blue will be two stop darker at one meter so in the end i will call this rx7 a kind of professional light because we have lots of output we have beautiful color beautiful white point and we have lots of different function but i just don't like the power solution with the built-in battery i just want some kind of we can swap out the battery system maybe like mpf battery will be awesome if we have a battery plate, I will buy 10 of these. Okay, so this is end of this Atom Cube RX7 from Pilot Cine. So if you have any question, leave a comment below. I will reply all of them. So if you like this video, press a like, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out more video like this. If you want to watch more video like this, check out this playlist. My name is Kai Wan, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.